Seven Grams, Soul Talk, Plantation Conversation. I want to play something. Um, even as I look at the old um, footage, it's an eye, and we all know what that means. But if a person consciousness is not right, the eye means just what the fuck you, you think it means. It's evil. Evil doesn't exist, but evil, the, the, the act of evil, if the person is portraying that role, can be evil. So let's get that concept understood. Um, you can go to mem- um, Memory Hole to check this out. Because when I once I play your clip, I got to tell you where I got it from. Check it out. Before I play it, though, ask yourself, who was the bombing? I know Bobby Hemet and a lot of master teachers talked about this. And um, they were bombing the information. It was bombing us. And you got to think about um, why. Listen to the tons. Because that was like overkill. And you know they were stamping out the old temples over there in Asia. But we don't question these things. So let's take a deeper look. See this on the memory hole. That's the um, website, the the web channel. Cambodia. At 7:30 a.m. on April the 17th, 1975, the war in Cambodia was over. It was a unique war, for no country has ever experienced such concentrated bombing. On this, perhaps the most gentle and graceful land in all of Asia, President Nixon and Mr. Kissinger unleashed 100,000 tons of bombs, the equivalent of five Hiroshimas. The bombing was their personal decision, illegally and secretly. They bombed Cambodia, a neutral country, back to the Stone Age. And I mean Stone Age in its literal sense. Shortly after dawn on April the 17th, The bombing stopped and there was silence. Then out of the forest came the victors, the Khmer Rouge, whose power had grown out of all proportion to their numbers. They entered the capital Phnom Penh, a city most of them had never seen. They marched in disciplined Indian file through the long boulevards and the still traffic. They wore black and were mostly teenagers. And people cheered them, nervously, naively. After all, the bombing, the fighting, was over at last. A horror began almost immediately. Phnom Penh, a city of two and a half million people, was forcibly emptied within hours of their coming, the sick and wounded being dragged from their hospital beds, dying children being carried in plastic bags, the old and crippled being dumped beside the road, and all of them being marched at gunpoint, into the countryside and toward a totally new society, the like of which we have never known. Now, we don't need to play too much because the point I was trying to prove is why did they bomb? If you, even though you heard him say that, um, the same thing 